I'm going to show you how to install a beta application from a developer onto your iPhone or iPad. The process is basically the same no matter which one you've got. The first thing to do is to plug your iPhone or your iPad into uh, your computer so that iTunes can sync with it. Um, in this case I've got a phone, my phone plugged in already. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, add a new app to your iPhone or iPad. Okay, so these beta applications have to be installed in a different way to the normal way you do through the App Store. So you'll get an email or something similar from the developer of the app, um, and then you'll get a couple of files from them that you need to install. One will be an application file, and one will be a, um, a um, what's known as a, a provisioning file that allows the uh, program to operate on your phone or iPad. So uh, when you get the email, just download those to the desktop, now, um, you may find that the app is in a zip file. Um, if it turns out it's in zip file format, then you'll need to unzip it before you can do this. Um, the file you should install should be called something.app. So anyway, we've got our files on the desktop down here, as it happens, downloaded already. And to install them on the iPhone now, we have to deal with iTunes. We just go to the top left of the iTunes, there's a, there's a section called Library. And what we do is we first start off by taking our app, just dragging it over and dropping it into the library. And that will uh, in introduce it into the system, and it's popped it on here. And then the second thing we do is take the other file and drop that into the same section. Now, I already have one there. I'll just say replace, but normally that will just be dropped on. And it'll just pop in there. Um, but um, uh, unless you're getting two apps from the same developer, you shouldn't ever have to replace it like that. So you should just be able to drop it on there. Once you've got those two files into the library, you can click on your device, say your iPhone or your iPad, and now you'll find that in the if you go to the Apps section, that app should appear in the list of apps, but it will need syncing to get it onto the iPhone or iPad. So it's there, it's ticked. If it isn't ticked, just tick it, and then hit the Sync button here. This takes a little while to do, but provided that everything's okay and everything's been uh, created correctly by the developer, all you should do is uh, simply wait and the app will be installed on your iPhone or your iPad. And that is how to install an ad hoc or a beta application provided for you um, by a developer on an iPhone or an iPad.